<clears throat> hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash, double honors to the apostles, elder bishop, the great millstone, who rule well, peace and blessings to you fellow brothers, push his word and truth and sincerity, Shabbat Chanak, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash, and I think I'm gonna name this one um, uh, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Okay, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. You know, this just kind of came to me. You know, just kind of, you know, seeing and we, we're seeing a lot. You know, and we're here to see. We're here to see their hurtful works. We're here to see the wickedness, and we're also here to see um, the judgment as well. This is why the judgments are increasing in the earth. The Most High is uh, dropping people, you know, and he's using um, his his sword uh, to do a lot of the the destruction. You know, just you know, kind of just seeing, you know, you get on the internet, and it's just like, man, it just it's more perverse. It's just more um, outlandish. Um, you know, day by day, uh, less morals. Okay, one moment. You know, um, vile, more abominations, more uh, disregard for a higher power. Okay, the people don't even consider a higher power, especially these women. These women, we know the scriptures speak about, you know, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. So wherever women are, it's going and, and there's no control. It's just going to be um, ma uh, major evil in the earth, that, and it's going to just de degenerate into what we have today. Let me bring this out. This is uh Second Ezra 15 and uh, and five. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword. All right, you have um, mass shootings, okay, that are that are here in America. You you might just go to the park. You might, you know, go grocery store. You know, go go to the grocery store to get you some you know some groceries, or you might be enjoying the next the the latest Marvel movie, or uh, you know action comedy, and somebody comes in there with an automatic weapon, and and sprays up the joint, you know. Or you might be at an airport, or you might be in uh, you might be in Palestine, and you 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 know you know you're at school, learning learning your uh, the, the the Arabic alphabet, and then a bomb comes, and, and, and you know blows up everybody in the school or in the hospital. You you know you got the flu, and a bomb comes. Okay, that's a sword. Or people are just shooting each other down, in the, in the streets. Okay, uh, drive-by shootings. Well, the brother, um, one of the brothers in the camp, the brother Shamar, he was telling us about a drive-by shooting uh, right, you know, right next to his house, you know, the, the next block over, and uh, the guy actually died in the hospital. This was like two weeks ago. You know, the house is still boarded up to this day, so you got drive-by shootings. Okay, that's the sword. People uh, killing each other, shooting each other down in the streets, gang violence. Um, the mafia cartels, right? It says, Behold, said the Lord, I'm read that again. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. That that's a plague. Okay? The gun the gun is a plague here in America. Well, how was America established? It was established by the gun, the sword. By um des destroying the indigenous people here in the land. So now these things are coming back. All right, to haunt you Americans, you Babylonians, and then you people around the world. Okay, this is this is the Heavenly Father coming down upon the earth. Why? We're gonna read it. We're gonna continue to read um, the sword, famine. Okay, and there's always been famines in uh, in Africa. They, you know, the the powers that be make sure that you know the the dark nations are being destroyed, especially the Africans. Okay, uh, different parts of Asia. But that's going to come to your developed countries, and this is going to be uh, devastating. 
right? Uh, it says that in Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, how suddenly shall the, the the full storehouses appear empty. So these are going to come to, you know, your uh, developed countries: America, Europe, Asia. Asia is a new developed country. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are going to die of famine, death, and destruction. So death and destruction come in many forms: famine, the sword, earthquake, uh, uprisings. You had a uh, you had a, a protest um, here in in San Francisco. They shut down the bridge. You know, it was Palestinian protest. They shut down the bridge for like two, uh, uh, was eight, six, seven, eight hours. It was a big deal. Nobody was able to go anywhere for seven to eight hours. So you see how, you know, the the economy, the people, the, the the people are already agitated. Something like that can, you know, really take people over the edge. Okay, and they're protesting about the indiscriminate bombing over there in uh, the land of Palestine. Okay, so w war is going to bring a lot of people to destruction. Okay, there's going to be a draft here in America. Right, but, uh, and these are the reason why these things are coming, whether you believe it or not. For wickedness, this is verse six. For for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and under the rulership of the Edomites, wickedness has multiplied. Okay, wickedness has proliferated. Wickedness has increased. Well, you know what? Let me get um. Let me finish this, and I want to get a uh, no, no no. I'm gonna come back here. Let me get Maccabees, first Maccabees, the first chapter, and d don't the the West, the Edomites, okay, the so-called Caucasian race, don't they say that civilization started with the Greeks? Now, we're reading um, some Greek history um, here in the the book of Maccabees, and let's see what the scriptures have to say about the Greeks, okay? <clears throat> this is a uh, first Maccabees one. And let me let me start at the top, but then I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump down just so we can get some context. First back, first Maccabees one and one, and it happened after that. Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, the, and this is the beginning of the Edomites' power. All right, who came out of the land of Shittim, has smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes, and he reigned in his stead. The first over Greece, and this is uh, backed up by secular history. Okay, you will have a lot of scholars that will actually say that the that uh, <clears throat> excuse me uh, that the apocrypha is canon. Okay, because it lines up directly what uh, you know historians all right written down. Okay, what happened back then? We all we all know Philip was the the father of uh alexander okay and he and, and made many wars and won many strongholds this was this is the beginning of the edomites meaning the the so-called caucasian race okay taking over the earth being the uh the 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 hegemony over the earth the greeks and in that known in, in that uh, part of the earth they they subdued okay all the dark nations okay just as they did coming back as the Greco-Romans okay during the renaissance they, they did the same thing and slew the kings of the earth right and went through to the ends of the earth and took took spoils of many nations in so much that the earth was quiet before him whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up this is uh, Alexander in that short reign I believe it was 12 13 years he he reigned and um he took down all the dark nations and everybody was quiet before him well that's the same thing uh during you know during the time of the beast which is uh, america um nato and the eu which are the edomite nations coming back into power um and they have the technology and uh it, it says in, in revelation who was who was able to make war with the beast what is that revelation 13 they were quiet. They were quiet before the beast. Because the beast, he hey, he had that missile technology. But now, let the weak say I'm strong. Joel, the third chapter. These other nations have that same technology, and they're no longer uh, quiet 
steal before Esau eat them. They're they're getting ready to make war. Okay, but let me jump down. I just wanted to get that right. Um, right. Verse nine, verse nine. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. This, these were the four generals. Okay, and that's backed up by um, secular history as well. So did their sons after them many years and evils were multiplied in the earth and this is the point right here when the greeks came into power let me read verse 7 excuse me verse 7 so alexander reigned 12 years right it was 12 years and then died he had a short reign but he did a lot of damage in that short time and his servants bear rule every one in one in his place of uh, the Seleucid, um dynasty the Ptolemaic, Ptolemaic dynasty, the uh, Cassander, Cassander dynasty, um, and there's there's one more. Okay, there was four generals. He had a little bit more than four generals, but those were the, the four major generals. The Dio um, Nicias, if I, I could be pronouncing that wrong, which means like four emperors, four rulers. You can look that history. I got to go back into that. Okay, and after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years, and evils were multiplied in the earth. See that? I, I skip. Excuse me. I skip verse uh, eight. Let me read verse seven and eight again. And Alexander reigned twelve years, and then died, and his servants bear rule everyone in his place. So, after the um, after his servants, those generals came into power, Edomite. You know, Edomite, um, Edomites, right? Evils multiply, and this is where we're at today. The same, those are the same Edomites coming back, right? The uh, uh, reincarnation. Everybody, everybody's reincarnated. That's why there's a um, a saying within history, and we've all heard it. History repeats itself because it's the same spirits coming back in different bodies. Uh, you know, performing, you know, similar to almost the exact things they were doing. Well, the scriptures say that the the, uh, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. That's why when um, John the Baptist, when he was on the scene, that's why Yahweh Shai basically told his disciples that he was Elijah. Meaning the spirit that was inside him was the spirit of Elijah. Because they're, they're the same people, but just in two different bodies and there's no remembrance okay of your former life but if you're a prophet now then you uh you're gonna be you was a prophet back then if you you know you were edomite back then you're edomite now if you were a a, a, a weapon smith back then you were a weapon smith back now you might be a scientist right if you were a, a military guy back then you're gonna be a military a guy now that you might be in the navy you might be in the, in the special forces because that's the spirit that the most high has given you uh to perform your lot down here on the earth and esau's lot all right was to deceive the nations and to turn things upside down and to to create chaos in the earth turn up see uh, up th turn the turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay but let me go back to Second Edgers 15, because Esau and his polluting of the whole earth, and he he wants to pollute all the nations. In in in, in certain cases, he asks. Jeremiah the 51st chapter: in Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, which made all the earth drunken. Right, which is the the American way. Okay, what's some of the American ways? Well, uh, so-called freedom of religion, right? Um which is, uh, uh, you know, really do as thou wilt, disguised as do as thou wilt, freedom to express yourself in any manner, meaning if, you, if you're if you a man, you want to marry a man, you should have the freedom to do that, freedom to be a trans uh, uh, person. And why are all these things coming out now? All right, because this is, uh, this is the end of this man. These are the same ideologies, these were the same... Um, uh, doctrines, you could say, or uh, way, way, uh, way, way of life, way of thinking, practices 
that were going on during the time of the Greco-Romans. They were known for these, uh, you know, abominable ways. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? They were known for uh, pederasty, men with uh, little boys. That That's heavy amongst the Edomite community. And they're actually, in, in a lot of regards, they're trying to normalize it. They, they want, they want uh, you know, they want to, you know, have freedom, freedom of, you know, sexual freedom. Well, you had a sexual uh, revolution, right? You had a sec sexual revolution, which turned everybody into freaks. And that's what you have today is everybody is, is a freak. E everybody's a freak. Everybody is sexually, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, promiscuous and, you know, uh, sexually uh, immoral, you know, you, you, what's it called lascivious um they have everybody is un, has unbridled lust well esau he has a, a term sex sells the pride the pride in in america is is at an all-time high you have all different types of nations mingling themselves uh together with each other okay and um just like during the time the uh, the, the tower of babel that time where all these different religions, all these different, you know, customs and give me a, give me a moment. All these different religions, all these different customs, you know, all these different sexual practices. The heathens are freaky. You know, all all, all these heathens is freaky. If you didn't know, okay. And all these practices are, and Esau is the, is the freakiest of them all. And our people, they have um, adopted these these practices. So let's go back to Second Ezra 15. And this is why plagues are coming down to the earth. Before we go back there, let's go hit uh, Matthew. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna wrap it up. This wasn't a long lesson. Okay, but these these uh, the the practices that are going on um, is is go is the reason why. Things are spiraling out of control. This is the reason why inflation is at an all-time high. People are struggling to buy groceries. This is why families are living out on the streets. This is why there is mass shootings. This is why people hate each other. Uh, road rage. Okay. This is hey, all, all evil is because of the 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 separation from the heavenly Father's laws, his his commandments, his statutes. And Esau claimed that he was of the Most High. He claimed that he was of God. So if any country should be um, blessed, it would be America. But why is America looking like the worst country on the earth? It might not have bombs being dropped on at this very moment, you know, like a Gaza, like a Iraq or a Syria. You know, it might not be in poverty, you know, like a Mexico. But who who create who? Um, who, who is the reason why Mexico, the, these Central American countries, why are they in poverty? I want to do a lesson on it. Uh, I'll, I'll do that later. Lord, y'all, Bashamashai, willing. But why is the, the whole earth, why are they oppressed? It's because of the, the Caucasian man, the Edomite. He takes and he steals resources. And he makes sure he keeps you at the bottom. This is his MO. This is what he's been doing. Matthew 24 and 12 and because iniquity shall abound see that's the sin that's the evil that's the wickedness it's abounding wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth okay right uh right is wrong and wrong is right up is down and down is up here in america left is right and right is left okay uh it tells you that in um is it isaiah 5 isaiah 5 and 20 woe to you that call um you know, uh, good, you know, let me, you know, let me, let me get it after this. Cause I'm about to butcher it. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that word cold is psychos. Okay. Which when you look up that word, it means to be not in the blue letter. The blue letter is not going to really tell you too much. But when you look up that Greek word psycho, um, it's pretty much spelled the same in the English. It's, it's you know, it's basically like a mentally, unstable person okay and well, what about the, the mental health here in america 
mental health is a that's a big that's a big issue a lot of people are on psychotropic drugs okay pharmaceuticals the you know bipolar disorders you know can't um hold a job back in and out of the hospital okay mental uh uh you know mental fatigue st or stress right but you have your you know you have your uh your chicken sandwiches you have your tv dinners you have you know your uber eats your pizza and your, your, your hamburgers and your hot dogs you know you you know grill you know your steaks you have your your bread and your circuses so that that keeps you uh occupied just as rome they had the bread and circuses to keep the the citizens occupied okay um um and not not thinking or not uh worrying about the different uh, economic collapses that rome was going through the different wars that Rome was getting their ass tore up. Okay, the infrastructure that was breaking down, the moral, the moral, uh, you know, scruples that were being lost. Basically, the fall of Rome. We gotta, we gotta keep them occupied. Here's a new stadium. Here's a new old. Oh, the, 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 this, this team is moving to this state. Okay, get season tickets here. You know, you got the, the NFL pass. You can watch every NFL game at the same time. Okay, you like you like hockey? Well, shit, you get the hockey, you get the you get the jersey. You like soccer? You know, you even play in a uh, you know, a, a pickup league. Isaiah 5 and 20, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That's America. Everything's backwards. And not only uh do they believe that here in America, but they actually are forcing that upon the world. They're forcing it, especially upon the dark nations, the African nations, uh, the, the the Arab nations, the the Asian. And here it is. These civilizations have been standing for. They have a, a a long history, you know, of customs and stuff like that, and, and, and laws and religion. And then the Edomite comes over saying, "No, you, this, this that's not right. You gotta, you go, you know, a man and a man could to to could." could be together and then you know what that does it destroys their population it destroys the mind of the people okay gen at, you know uh, a, a few generations later the 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 children that the children all messed up they're all addicted to a uh, 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 sexual play you know sex they're you know uh, sweets okay the diet the taste buds are all messed up all they want is candies and cakes and cookies and and meat and, and 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 uh rice starches so now their health declines their mental health declines they're they, they you know they don't know what the hell is going on they're they're stupid they 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 basically uh weaken the nations that's what that was uh part of the the so-called illuminated ones were to weaken the nations okay isaiah the 14th chapter he that ruled the nations in anger okay it says that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. This is why when you bring out the laws of the Bible and the tenets of the scriptures of the Heavenly Father, you, you can't even, even talk about God. OK, give me a second. You, you speak about God, you know, either you got to have a worldview of God loves everybody okay you know or not speaking about it at all because people gonna look at you weird you know because if you actually bring out the things in the scriptures people are they don't they gonna look down on the things in the scriptures and then you have men that um deceitfully pervert the scriptures i'm, I'm speaking about what well, esau does that of course he'll, he'll pervert anything he is that perverted man he's crooked he's that crooked he's that crooked uh serpent leviathan Okay. I'm done there. Let me just go back to uh second Ezra. Let me finish that up. This is second Ezra fifteen. Let me read verse five again. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, 
and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay, meaning the me the measure that, that uh, reminds me of. Let's go to um. Let's finish off here in Revelation 18. How their sins have reached unto heaven. There's a certain amount of sins that the heavenly Father allows before He comes down upon the nations. And the Lord, He He comes down upon. He, he He's very long suffering when it comes uh, when it comes to the heathen nations because He's not dealing with the heathen nations. When it comes to us, the Israelite, the, the Most High judges us uh, instantly. We don't we don't get too long. We, well, you, you we don't get too long. You know. You know, uh, worshiping other gods and doing this and doing that, you know, the most high, he comes down upon us as a good father would. OK, this is uh, Revelation 18. I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to read down real quick. We'll just wrap it up. Uh, verse one. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen and has become the habitation of devils. So John is seeing this vision, which we're getting ready to live this out. We're, we're actually living the latter end of the we're living. We're living in the book of Revelation right now. The very few moments that Esau Edom has uh, rulership on the earth. Re uh, Revelation 12 and 12, the uh, the devil come down unto you having great wrath because he know that he has a short time okay you need to park hella close how are you gonna get out of the car bear with me babylon the greatest fall i read that um for nations for all nations have drunk of the wine of her wrath of her fornication this is why they model their societies uh, just like Esau, right? They got the tuxedo suits. They got the high rises. They got all their population in. Um, they got their population in, um, in. In schools, right? And I believe it was the was it the Germans that started that? You got to go into the history, but that was. Uh, it was somewhere some, one of them nations in the, uh, one of them European nations started educating so-called setting up schools where well, that goes back to um, uh, uh, Greco-Roman Empire. Anyway, it's the same spirit. It's, a, it's the same spirit coming back them schools. OK, which which was to what program. OK, to program your uh, your 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 society. And to good workers. Because you need somebody to build the the elites can't build they don't build things. They they manage things and control things. They don't build things. So you need a working society to, to build shit. You know? So turn in turn your uh your population into good workers. So called educate them. Right? So they so all these nations model their uh society. After uh, Esau Edom, this is why you got the Palestinians, the, the children are going to school. This is why they're they're screaming for we need education. Uh, women need to be able to be free and go into the workplace, Gro grocery stores and shit. You know, uh, you know, all, all you know, uh, 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 trans rights, plastic. These nations didn't drink out of plastic. Okay, uh, uh, concrete roads. I said high rises, right? Sports. Okay, uh, uh, collegiate sport on, on uh, collegiate sports. You know, certain nations have their little games that they did, but nothing on the level of Esau Edom, nothing on the level of Babylon. Music, entertainment. Okay, cinema. Right, that's all part of Esau's fornication. You have his uh, political, his two party system, democracy. It's all part of it. You could throw Christianity in there too, but I mean that's part of it. His religion, but these other nations, Arab, the Arab is not practicing Christianity on on a high level like that. Okay. Um, 
And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxing rich through the abundance of her delicacies. All these nations became rich because of Babylon the Great. Okay, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plague. Right, because the end result of everything that's going on all right, is America being uh, uh, pelted by nuclear missiles when, as, as this third war, third world war um, ramps up. That's the that's the end goal. If you wanted to know the end goal uh, of the, the the moral of the story or the end of the story, right? The the the, the end of the story is how Shai coming back with a world in and cost Christ in the height of World War Three, where all the nations, even the EU, is going to turn on America. Okay, and the Heavenly Father is only going to deliver His elect, elect Israelites out of America. Everybody else is going to be a sacrifice. Okay, why? Because, well, let's read it. It's going to basically say what, we, what we're saying. Okay, well, I'm saying what the scriptures are saying. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High remembered her iniquity. So you, you didn't, all this perverseness that's going on, all this wickedness that's going on, okay, in the forefront of society and in the in the shadows, right, in the, the underground, if you will. There's a lot of underground shit going on man it's a lot of backdoor deals it's a lot of uh trafficking child trafficking human trafficking okay it's a lot of organ trafficking it's a lot of it's a lot of dirty things going on a lot of perverse things going on a lot of uh, uh you know well every every woman is is a fucking only fans uh, content creator she does content creation every man is a closet homosexual Okay, now the, the, the new thing is the the do threesomes and foursomes and the be with a man and you got celebrities coming out saying they're bi. You know, painting their nails. Okay, uh, transitioning children. I seen a couple of out here out here in the Bay Area. I seen a couple of children that were you know boys that were in dresses and shit. Little little boys, little children. OK, and, and it was all Edomites, of course. It's a lot of uh, molestation going on. OK, Esau, he'd he be adopting these kids and he'd be he'd be popping them, doing all types of perverse things and doing things with animals. OK, oh, worshiping idols. Oh, witchcraft. Damn there in all these major cities. OK, there uh, all these major cities. There's there's a psychic reader a reading. Uh, um, uh, store. You would you call them stores or buildings? You know where you know they they got the tarot card reading and they can read your palm and they got the the crystal ball. And then go on YouTube. They're on YouTube. There, there's tutorials of how to do magic. How to use stones. You know how to how to how to do magic. You know, what herbs to use, what concoctions, how to do love spells, how to do. You can literally go on YouTube and learn how to do spells. So with everything, there's levels to us. So you got low level witches and then you got high level witches. OK, which the powers to be they're high level witches. So you got you got witchcraft going on in this earth and our people, they love witchcraft. They've always been all right, too, locked in with the spiritual demon Satan, especially a lot of our women our men, too. Okay, Brujaria, uh, uh, you know, you got uh, Santaria, you got um, Voodoo, you got uh, Hoodoo. Hoodoo is the American witchcraft. What, uh, what you know, Judah, what, that's what Judah practice. Hoodoo. Look it up. H U D U. If I'm not, uh, I could be, or H U D O O, Hoodoo. It's pretty much uh, the American counterpart to voodoo, which I believe that's uh, that's Levi. OK, so all, all, all the tribes were practicing, practicing that. Well, read the, the book of Saul. Saul, he he consulted with a witch. Who was a, a, a necromancer. That can that can call the dead. You got that going on, calling the dead. Right. So you got a lot of sh I mean, I'm not even speaking to not even not even one percent of what's going on. 
okay? The evil, the blasphemies. So this is why the Heavenly Father, you know, he's going to destroy this place. This is why these plagues are coming on the earth. And, the, and, and more plagues are coming. All right, I'm going to close it out. Until next time, shalom to the left.